there's a reunion. Uh, it's 10 years ago that uh, a big squad in uh, Amsterdam was evicted, the Kalender Panda. And uh, that's exactly today, 10 years ago. And uh, that's the reason why we meet people who lived in the house, who uh, did actions for keeping the house, or were otherwise involved with a workspace, or we saw, uh, had some activities there. And campaigning. And campaigning, etc. Because it was a, a spot where there was a lot of things going on. There was a radio uh, station, yes. a concert room, uh, uh, a, a cinema room big parties, but also a political struggle to maintain this place and, yes. and other kinds of projects like this. Yes. It was squatted in 1996? 1996, yes. In September 1996. And in uh, October 2000, uh, and, uh, uh, today, October 31st, uh, 2000, it was evicted. And, uh, yeah, it, they did live in the end. I would say 15. 15 people. Yeah. And there were quite some workspaces. Uh, and I think over, yeah, there, there was a people's kitchen which was used by sometimes up to 100 people a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite some festivals, parties, etc. Yeah, it was always a yeah. big group of people involved in the place. Which is why it had a very big impact, and it had a, uh, a a lot of people felt that it was their place because of that. So it was there was a small group of people living. If you come, like, I mean, you can't really see it on this uh, logo, but <laughs> on this video. it was a really big building, and and you could think like, oh, probably there were like 50 people living there, but it was actually a small group of people. But uh, because of all the activities, it was always a big group of people around it. We had a broad campaign which uh, was uh, on one behalf uh, uh, trying to keep the house as it was, as, as, the, as the monument as it was. That was one part of the campaign. We had uh, a part of the campaign uh, was to keep the function it had, the social function. And another part was also to, uh, how do you say, uh, work together with other squads. Uh, so that they could be part of this campaign. So we try to reach out to a lot of people uh, in, in the city and we also try to explain it's not only about this house, it's about the future of the city, uh, whether you want it uh, only a, a dull place for yuppies or so, or you want it a place where people really uh, can develop them, themselves and uh, work uh, themselves about their own future without somebody uh, uh, telling them how this future should look like and uh, having more alienation or so. So that was a very broad campaign and uh, you saw that also back in the demonstrations there were. And we always, uh, I think we had two demonstrations and there was more than 2,000 people on this demonstration, so yeah. it was a quite successful campaign. Even though the house was evicted, I think it served as, as, uh, as, a, as a, it had at a purpose that a lot of other places, uh, also this place where you film in now, got preserved. So I think it had a very important function. Yeah, to say more about that, it was the beginning of the notion of the, uh -huh. of the in politics also that it's important to have places like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before that, there was that was part of the campaigning also, because mm -hmm. then you had places like the Silo and the uh, uh, Romina and these places were then still squatted, and it was important to to make sure that this was not going to get lost totally when they were redeveloping the city. What? Reach out. <laughs> Reach out. <laughs> yeah. Work together. Uh -huh. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's an important lesson. It's, uh, uh, don't uh, put yourself away in your squad, uh, but uh, try to uh, evolve, involve as much as people as you can. Involve the neighborhood, involve other squads. And uh, yes, uh, in some squads people have uh, black clothes and in other they have other clothes or so. Mm -hmm. 
that's your own expression, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't work together. Yeah, and you can still have a radical message and work together with other groups. You don't have to make these divisions between other people. Exactly. Like, it's always the, 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 the most positive things were at the same time also the most difficult, I think, because it was a really intense period of time for all of us. Like, a lot of things happening and... Uh, so this was really inspiring and really great, and at the same time very exhausting. And I wonder if we could have maintained it uh, another uh, <laughs> 10 years, let's say. But uh, for that time it was really, really uh, great and inspiring. Yeah. yeah Any I other agree. memories? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I agree with it. I mean, um, it, it's, uh, uh, it was a free space, so people could develop themselves and develop uh, if you develop, you don't develop always in a good direction, it's, it's trial and error. And so there were very nice things there, very nice uh, uh, structures built up, uh, parties also, uh, lots of very nice concerts. And uh, also that we could reach out to so much groups, I really see that as a very positive thing. And that you see people really uh, taking initiative where you didn't expect that they to take uh, initiative on a certain way. Th that's, that's a really positive vibe. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's a pity and that, that, it, that, it, that it is lost. Uh, that the house is not there anymore. It's, uh, I mean, uh, it was very tense, uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's an interesting thing also, because uh, what you see now in a place like Schijnheilig, for example, where the group is much more uh, like a, like a stable group. When they get evicted, they go and squat a new place. I think that's a really good thing to see for me because in the Kalender Panda, it was, uh, we were a group of people, but after that, it was maybe also because it was so much, so uh, such an intense period. Afterwards, it, it kind of split up in different uh, directions. And uh, I think that's also a lesson to learn that you can also, you have to invest in a group to, to keep going and look for new places. So that is not totally lost when you lose the, the actual uh, physical space, but that the connections between the people are still there. A squad, as the calendar pond was an example of uh, what you can do if you take your own uh, freedom and work something out and do something with it. And uh, that, that, is a, uh, that is possible in a, in a squad. And it, it really helps people develop and uh, uh, yeah, doing something with their life and uh, that's a very important experience and I think everybody should go through that. Yeah. <laughs> to make better human beings. Better human beings. <laughs>